A park in Bath is going to be the first in the southwest to be redesigned with teenage girls in mind. A survey by the charity Make Space for Girls has found that 90% of them are used by boys and young men, with girls finding them unwelcoming. Alice Bouvery reports. Brickfields Park in Twerton. Great for dog walkers, gorgeous views of Bath, but for teenage girls, it's almost a no-go area, and a survey of park users recently confirmed it. The basketball court was used by boys and men 89% of the time. Uh, we never saw any teenage girls or girls at all using the football pitches, um, and 25% of girls that we spoke to through the survey said they wouldn't feel safe to come to Brickfields Park at all. So there's a lot of work to be done. This is the main teenage provision here at the moment, a metal shelter, not particularly inviting. But changes are just round the corner. Well, they're really hoping that funding will come through to start making significant changes to this park in just a couple of weeks' time. And if they do, then Brickfields Park will be the first in the southwest to be redesigned with teenage girls in mind. On the other side of the park, we're going to be putting in kind of a built into the hillside um, semicircle social seating area. So there are loads of different options for different places. Another so idea is to, to put in adult rent. swings. That yeah. came from the girls at nearby Hayesfield School. Personally, I think there needs to be a lot more areas for people to be sociable. If you look around, there's really not any shelter anywhere. A lot of like teenagers, like when they go to the park, and they they stand in a group and a lot of people just think they're up to no good but if they're like sitting down in like a communal space then i think it would be a lot less intimidating to other people using the park i mean like the metal benches are always like wet and cold so it's not really some place where you can come and sit and chat there are only a couple of other parks in the uk which have actually put in girl friendly facilities here's one example in oxford but it's already been shown to work Across Europe, particularly in Scandinavia, they've done a lot of work on engaging with teenage girls, finding out what they want and building it. So we know that when we make these changes, they really do work for teenage girls. A barrier to progress is that council funding for parks is currently at rock bottom, but the desire for wider change is definitely there. Alice Bouvery, BBC Points West, Bath.